This is the network service of the MGA. Arise and shine, retire your flag. Federal University, oh yeah, kitty. Show the way of excellence. Show the way of motivation. Call yourself with character. Fear of corporate truth is Federal University Oyekiti, fondly called Foye, a dual campus educational institution at Kwale and Oyekiti, was established in 2011 for business of teaching, research, and community development through a presidential executive order of His Excellency Dr. Goodluck Ibele Jonathan, GCFR. Position to impart and promote developmental strides of the nation and beyond. Four years motto, innovation and character for national transformation, eloquently and succinctly depicts the visions of the founding fathers of Africa's fastest growing university. Growth comes naturally with students' population inching towards 25,000 in the ongoing academic year. Thanks to the giant strides of men with a culture of excellence like the Vice Chancellor, Professor Kayo De Shure Mekun, and the doggedness of Asut educationist turned politician, the Pro Chancellor and Council Chairman, Professor Babatunde Samo. The Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Lekiti, the Professor of International Relations, Professor Kayo De Shure Mekun. Sir, can you recall? Your first reaction when you step to the soil of way. I mean, how you spend that first day? One thing that struck me when I came in here for the first time was that um, there are formidable uh, problems ahead. I knew instinctively that I was uh, going to what I would like to call. <coughs> Figuratively speaking, the hot pot. And by the time I looked round, I found that um, what I had on my hands uh, was what you can call a nascent university, a university in the making, a university, a place that was str struggling to come. It was like a near forest. So it was not one of elation, it was not one of enthusiasm, as it was one of uh, heavy dread as to what was ahead of me. That was the way I felt four years ago. I must say that uh, it wasn't very smooth when Oye was established oh. eight or ten years ago. Oh. Oye has moved from 146 ten years ago to 13 in 2019. No university has achieved that feat. So that's why I say, oh yeah, it's a classic example of what a modern university should be. That's point number one. Enrollment in Oye had risen to 20,000 this year. No university. Within 10 years, Oye can boast of well calibrated academics, lecturers, and professors who can be their chest anywhere in the world today. Oye has increased establishment of departments and faculties. Within 10 years, Oye has nothing less than 10 faculties now, including newly established faculty of law, faculty of pharmacy, medicine is coming aboard. Oye is the first university to host the Mechatronics Conference in the whole of Africa. Oye will transform that, that, that profession from a low level to a more level. 
Apart from that, all year students have won fantastic academic laurels since its establishment. We've enjoyed a relative peace. The federal government has done a lot in terms of funding this university. Fouye must not die. Fouye must survive. The baby must survive. The green, white, gold colors of the university also speak to the patriotic national identity. Green, peace and continuous quest for development. White and passion for enduring legacies. Gold, of the crafters of the visions and missions of this new attraction to educationists in Africa. Already, the school is ranked 13 in the latest National University Commission NUC ranking, beating over 135 others in Nigeria. Recently, the Governing Council inspected over more than 47 completed projects in the last four years. The inspection team was amazed at the rapid transformation that the twin campuses had experienced, recalling their first feelings when they newly came in contact with the institution. Able to ensure a kind of linkage between our expectations on one hand and reality on the other. The federal government, the main proprietor of the university, has been very, very supportive in terms of the fact that we have drawn, but we've been able to put in place a number of physical structures uh, on two, courtesy of two main sources, funding sources. One, um, the annual federal government capital grants, and two, uh, the much celebrated um, TED Fund. So those two uh, platforms, uh, they have uh, provided us the, the wherewithal such that when you look around today, uh, we can say that uh, with Christ in the vessel, we have been able to smile at the storm. Uh, we have defeating structures, we speak to a university that is about to come into its own in the world. And um, to that extent, uh, one can say that, um, like the proverbial lizard, which falls from the Euroco tree, we can, we can knock our, we can shake our heads and say, uh, we have done well. Stewardship at the University Governing Council is not unconnected with a lot of challenges. When we were appointed as members of the University Governing Council, um, Federal University of AKT is only three, four years old. We had only four faculties. But now, four years down the line, we have seven faculties. And um, we have three campuses. There are numerous challenges. Foremost among them is the dual campus status of the university, the Ikole campus and the Oekiti campus. And that we face serious challenges from the host communities on why projects will be cited. Secondly, we met a lot of imbalances in the employment of the universities where the ratio of academic and non-teaching staff uh, is blown out of proportion and could not be tolerated. It, did, it doesn't go well with set down rules. And um, also, with, coupled with the meager resources and virtually no IGR, we face serious financial challenges. Uh, we hardly have 100 million plus of capital projects every year from the federal government. And with no mega or mega IGR, uh, you know what it means to move a, a new university, a young, young university to grow. But we have tried our best and we are proud to now say that after having completed almost four years, we have successfully stabilized this university. We have improved the status of this university. So we thank Mr. President for giving us the opportunity to serve on the council of this university. 
if you're 4,000 four years ago and you're 17,000 now, something and infrastructure to produce knowledge and graduates really is established to accommodate that number. So that rate of growth is also very important. And I'm sure it's uh, one of the areas they look into. Um, and also probably the physical development. You know, when you come, when we came to this place, I, uh, the first time I was scared of hyenas or even lions. I'm, I'm a man, I'm from the Sahara, fringes of the Sahara. This is forested Nigeria. So when I came, I said, in the, I wouldn't want to be here at night. And when we asked for the shrubs to be felled, after two, three days, it, it's regrown again. So it's, it's a very good, uh, it's, it's a good development for me, coming from the Sahara. And uh, so you see these environmental challenges, vis-a-vis uh, -vis gauging what is on ground at Oye, gauging it against what obtains in similar sister universities. And also the rate of production of the infrastructure itself is very important. You see, universities, they have this 25-year plan to be fully established. We are not quite half, what? Are we halfway now? No. And seven faculties, that's a big deal. So I'm sure the NUC or whoever is doing these ratings, really they, they know the indices they are looking at, and uh, I'm sure they can give a justification. But I have to tell you, you are young. The average student age is 18, 19. You find our graduates you know, going for NYC at the age of 22. So these things, you know, we are very proud. Uh, and as mentioned earlier, you know, the challenges are still here, but we are going somewhere. And uh, I have to say it, that uh, this 13th rating, we were 17th one time. So you can see we are, we are notching up. And uh, I think it tells you that we are doing a very good job. The roll call of our achievement. In fact, the university among its sister's university is the first. I mean, the university that were created at the same time with this university, you can't compare them with this university in terms of structures and academic achievements. This is reality. I feel very great for this achievement. And I want to commend and thanks all people that have put hands that contributed directly or indirectly to this achievement. In fact, not pressing safe, this council has achieved. I want to, I want to thank the students for their corporations and the staffs of the FOI, as well as the management of FOI and my colleagues in the council for their cooperation to uplift this university to a greater height. Once more, I thank the community of FOI. Once more, I encourage the community of FOI. And once more, I wish for a, a greater high. Road network to link several portions of phases 1, 2, and 3 at Oye campus are ongoing. The Shuren Mekong administration has also completed abandoned buildings and projects, some of which include Central Administrative Building, the University Central Library, and some others, while refurbishing and equipping the University Medical Center, the Security Post, Faculty of Arts in Phase 1, and many others. Along with Professor Samuel Led Council, which comprised of Alaji Abdul Lai Sali Ujibri, representing Federal Ministry of Education in the Council, Engineer Sabo Inua, and Alaji Ajikolo, and Professor Kayo De Shure Mekun, lieutenants like Professor Abayo Mifashino, Professor Olushola Johnson Ujo, Mrs. Bola Tetoa Konde, Mr. Mufutao Ibrahim, Mr. Olatumbo Odosoya, Professor Shola Omotola, Professor Adeju Igbe, Dr. Boyega Dio, and more. There has been an uncommon understanding and rapport. The council of this university has imbibed very good practices, uh, exemplary practices. The relationship between the council and management is excellent. The, we have imbibed seven golden rules of a uh, an exemplary council. We are first a benefactor, not a parasite. We don't indulge in anything management. And um, we ensure that due processes and transparency is adhered to in 
contract award processes. This rapport has led to delivery of several completed projects like Ultramodern Faculty of Pharmacy Building, Ultramodern Faculty of Agriculture Building, well-equipped media demonstration studio facility for the teaching of mass communication students, Ultramodern Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Faculty of Management Complex, and many more. I can see that there is great improvement because I believe they started maybe some years back and we what I'm saying there is great improvement and they are giving quality education because by the time we started our lectures I collected some of the undergraduate notes and I discovered that they are really taking them very well and their products will be one of the best. Fuye is one of the best school, let me say in Nigeria, it's one of the best school. So the lecturers in this school, they are hardworking, they teach us very well and we understand. And in case we don't understand, we ask questions and they are so much, they are accommodating. The next two years, I'm hoping Fuye should be better than this, Fuye should be in a better place. Like it should, it should be better than the way I met it. So I'm aspiring to, to, to leave it in a better position like the way I met it before. Already, the law program of Foye has been given takeover approval by the NUC and the Council for Legal Education recently visited the institution on resource verification, signaling hope of concurrent approval. Similar approvals will come from Council for Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, Koren, whose team also praised four-year engineers for not owing licensing fees when they came on accreditation visit on Wednesday, February 26 this year. I came on sabbatical from the Kitty University, and what I saw on ground, I, I, I saw that this university has a lot of prospects and potentials. I didn't say because it was still very small, but I saw the potentials I had, and I felt I could tap into the potentials and be one of the stakeholders to develop this university. So by the time I finished my sabbatical, I decided to transfer my service to contribute my quota. Uh, let me also say this, during the time of my sabbatical, uh, it was all bush all over. And uh, <clears throat> some of us felt that the opportunity there for us to help in transforming this university to be a great study of learning. So I didn't run away. We were lucky to have a dynamic leader. Uh, the Vice Chancellor and President of Professor Kali Shelemekun was a visionary leader, a team player, and an uh, indefatigable uh, astute administrator. He was able to allow some of us to exploit our potentials in terms of the way we relate and do things. Between the period of Professor Kali Shelemekun and now, we were able to put on board five additional faculties. When I was coming here for interview sometimes in 2015, after that interview, it was within me that I was not going to come because uh, it was more or less like uh, uh, a bush. Looking back, between then and now, a lot of things have actually happened. Div S. Davis was not in existence. The whole building called the Marimel Building, Administrative Building, was uh, just like a two or three bedroom apartment over there. So it is within this uh, period of time that uh, this building was put in place. Uh, you now have uh, full complement paraphernalia of office put in place for all the principal officers in the university. That is one. Number two, the asphalt laid road on a good rainy day, that place will be completely impassable. This is a place where we now drive uh, freely, smoothly, to our various offices. It was not there. It was not at all. Now you have a building, the social sciences, pharmacy building. You have a modern uh, library now with e-resources. You know, uh, the science complex. Today now you have now what to call three in one. Science where I belong. That's my faculty. I also know what it used to be when I came. You know, but now we have even the auditorium, a lecture auditorium for our students that can seat close to 500 students at a go in staffing. Now we can boast of so many professors. If you look at the list of uh, Senate members, whether well, I was there, many professors were there. Many other people were just on uh, visiting, adjunct, uh, sabbatical. 
But now, you don't have uh, professors, you know, made in this university, heading so many of these faculties. It's a bidder. I call him a bidder. You know, because uh, by the time you look at things, you ask me, how was it five years, four years, five years ago? The difference is very clear. So we pray that God continue to sustain him. As uh, somebody who has served for about 30 years at the National University Commission, the uh, regulatory agency for university, I was coming with the belief that when I come to this place, I will come and put some things in place. But uh, on getting to this place, I observed that the uh, management, they are doing the right thing in accordance with the uh, BMAS, that is the benchmark, benchmark minimum academic standard prescribed by the NUC. So uh, what I did then is just to join them in making sure that we are doing the right thing at the Federal University of Yekiti. In terms of facilities, I was surprised because the first time I came for my letter of uh, appointment, I met uh, the management at the uh, phase one of the university. But just a few months after the collection of the letter, I came to resume, and uh, the, the university has already moved to the phase two, and since then, the development has been going on. And I believe if we are moving at this rate, by the grace of God, this university will be known worldwide. To be honest, coming here the very first day of being here, it was like I was in a strange land, looking around, turning left, right. All you see is forest. So we were like, we're in the jungle. But um, be as it may, what I'm just trying to say is that being a very small university just coming up, you know that there are lots to be done getting here. And at the time I came in then, it wasn't long after also the vice chancellor, the present vice chancellor too came in. And when he came in, there were just four or there are about five faculties. But to this day now, we have additional four or five faculties. There is also um, establishment of School of Postgraduate Studies. And then we have, we run programs at JUPEP, then we also have pre-degree. So if you look around now, compared with what we had on ground in 2017, you can see that there is a great change and difference in the development. But with commitment and focus and determination to ensure that this university becomes the best of them all. We can see that people on ground are ready to key into the vision of the university. VC is very accessible, amiable. He has a listener here. Honestly, he does like a father to everyone. And uh, I've learned something with him. He's very calm and very stable. Even in the state of a chaotic situation, Prof will still be calm. He doesn't have this kill it idea syndrome. Whatever you are bringing to him, whether good or bad, he will listen to you. Look at that quality. He will listen to you. So I want to believe the kind of nature and the kind of attributes that he possessed has created an implement for my very son and every one of us here. The future is very bright because with the help of Ted Fund, you get a lot of things doing. All you need to do is that you don't need to be far away from there. A lot of people have sold several ideas to us and we embrace them. Some pretending to be foolish and wanting to see what will come out of it. And in between, we do see some coming out positively. We have several boreholes, and we are also um, going to have our own dam very soon. 
even as regard to electricity, at the moment now we rely heavily on generator. But we're already embracing the idea of solar. And then um, we already, we have also uh, interacted with some people who are planning to build power plant here. So we are very ready. The university will have um, uh, a great opportunity to, for students to come in, for library to be more effective, and then for other program that will make the university to to grow. We're trying to make our <coughs> internet more functional. You know, we started with Koha, but we are doing a kind of a, what I call little work on uh, Koha because it's a it's a, a, a data it's, it's, it's a cataloging module that is always used, you know, in processing books and other things. So we are hoping to get it more organized, um, they have been coming every day. The rate is improving every day because, you know, we open from, for now we open from 8 to 4, so they have been coming to use the resources. Even many staff testify that the university administration in the last four years has been very focused and workers friendly. I rise and shine.